Okay, and you did not search that room. So as you're all going up, there could have been a terrorist in that room yeah. shooting God in the back. Our first mission with Sons of Liberty International is working in the Nineveh Plain region of northern Iraq. That's a Christian population. They suffered greatly under ISIS. They lost a lot of their lands. They want to recapture their lands rather than having other groups do it for them. This whole class is about leadership, sergeants and officers. There's a likelihood that there will be an offensive. Our goal is to have the Iraqi Christians prepared to take part in the coalition. And with the support of, of U.S. and international air power. After graduating from Georgetown with a master's degree in security studies, I got a motorcycle and set off for North Africa and the Middle East to make a documentary film. During my motorcycle travels, I had made really good friends in Libya that I kept in contact with over the years. They had friends, neighbors, family members being arrested or killed. So I went and I joined the revolution as a rebel fighter. I was wounded and knocked unconscious and woke up in prison. I spent nearly six months as a prisoner of war in two of Libya's worst prisons. I was basically waiting each day. Would I be executed? Would I be tortured? Um, would I be put on trial? One day there was a lot of noise outside my cell. At first I thought that these were guards that were coming to kill me. I mean, I'd already suffered so many months. Um, I was ready for it, but it was a prison break. So they, I grabbed my stuff and we went out and escaped from the prison. After escaping prison, I decided not to return to the United States and to instead go back to the front line and continue serving in the revolution and, and fighting on the front lines until the war was won. A couple of weeks after the war was over, I returned to the United States and directed my attention to the revolution in Syria. I decided first I would make a film designed to build international support and, and increase public opinion in favor of the revolution. But then in August 2014, uh, ISIS executed one of my friends, a journalist, James Foley, and soon after executed another one of my friends, Stephen Sotloff. I thought about what could be done to help combat ISIS. There are no other groups that are working with the Christian militias that we work with. You know, liberty is a universal right. I want solely to be able to change the course of history. are no other groups that are working with the Christian militias that we work with. You know, liberty is a universal right. I want solely to be able to change the course of history.